Welcome back, Travels of the Side of Havoc here, and we are back with a little Forever Stranded Lost Souls. And today, we're just going to kind of pick up where we left off last time, but I do realize something that I have... I, I'm i sure there's a lot of you that were screaming at me when I kept complaining about getting clay and having to take all the time to, you know, do it over in the millstone over here and taking forever... I know, I know, I know, I know you guys were yelling at me, and you probably already put it in the comments, that I don't need to do it this way. Although, I'm not 100% sure, because if you remember correctly, when I looked up clay, right, there was nothing that addresses uh, the crucible, right? But then I thought, let's try. So, I haven't tested it out yet. I have not tested it out yet, but I did make a whole bunch of dust. Because, well, I've got eight here, but I've got a whole bunch of compressed dust right there. Because if we go ahead and take ourselves four leaves here and make ourselves some water like so, I'm betting that if I drop Mr. Dust here in Mr. Crucible, we will get Mr. Clay. And I can't believe I hadn't thought about it. Like, I don't, I don't know what my brain was doing. But in the meantime, I want to make some more crucibles. However, I only have so much living wood, but I want to speed this process up a little bit if this works. So I I have a feeling it's going to. I, there's Honestly, there's very little doubt in my mind that it's going to work. But at the same time, you never know. I mean, mod packs adjust stuff all the time. So I should have living wood around here. There we go. I was like, I should have living wood around here somewhere. And let me grab, that's going to be five, so I'm going to need 30 of these. And we're just going to make up a whole bunch of crucibles if this works. And here's the test. <laughs> Clay. So much easier. Okay, cool. So let us make ourselves up a couple of these crucibles. And we're going to go ahead and take this guy outside with the rest of our stuff. Um, I did get this cool axe um, from killing one of those sparkly guys. And it's got magnet on it or magnetic or something like that. Magnetic, so it just picks up everything I chop with it, which is really cool. It makes the chopping of trees a little bit easier. Um, just adds some simplification to some things, but let us go get, uh, what do we need? Uh, one, two, I think, I think like 24 we'll fill them all. Uh, six, 12, yeah, 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 24. And then we'll be good to go. We'll have a ton of clay. And we can start getting going on what I've been trying to get going on, which is the uh, porcelain, like the heat maker and all that stuff. Let's, right here. I've got it open. The porcelain melter, the porcelain heater, the porcelain casting table, stone bucket, which will be super easy, and then the porcelain faucet. Now, we can go do the, the stone bucket while we're waiting on this water. Uh, oh, it's going to be with a fire guy. <clears throat> yep, it's always fire guy. All right, cool. Um, water... Almost done. So yeah, so we should be able to do that because I just kind of look at the numbers and just kind of average out how much clay we're going to need. I'm thinking like 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27. It's like 27 clay, approximately. And I'm just basically saying like 8 per, approximately. I think some, this one's like 7, and I think this one actually has a tank inside, which is going to need another 4. So I'm thinking like 30 clay should probably be enough. And right now, I'm going to get myself, what, 24 clay? And I think I still have a few pieces of porcelain clay up there, but this is going to give me 28. Yeah, that's going to give me 28 clay right there, like so. And I already have a little bit of clay left and then some porcelain brick already. So let's look at these recipes and see if we can get these done. Um, oh, I also did make another hopper. Uh, I had the paper tree and then I made an apple tree so I can start collecting apples and uh, just kind of give me another food source for right now. I've got the tiny progressions juicer around here somewhere. See, I got apple juice right here. Uh, like I said, they're not great, but one nugget per, it, it's just better than nothing. I mean, it's better than one piece of bread. It's, I guess that's the way to look at it. It's better than that. Um, but I've got the juicer. Oh, might be over here, my tools. I've kind of started sorting these chests out in a different way. Like these are all tools over here. Well, not all tools, but I, I'm so disorganized. Like I got there's no other way to put it. I'm so disorganized. I don't know where everything's at right now, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So I need quartz. 
which is in this chest. No, it's over here in this chest. And if I need to get more, I can go grab my hammer and do it. But this will be a start in the right direction. Will we go, I think it's two of these and some quartz gives me the porcelain, unfired porcelain. And now let's look up some of these things. Um, it's called the porcelain melter, right? So that takes six of these and this tank, I want the cheapest tank, which I believe is this one right here. That's mostly glass. And so that's 10 plus five glass. So I'm pretty sure I can make myself up some sand if I don't have any sitting around here already. That's dust, but I can uh, see so I make a whole bunch of cobble too. Um, and I need to get my hammer, which I've made a couple of those. There's an iron one, so we'll just do this one for right now. And oh, and I did make myself uh, a diamond builder's one, and I'll show you how I did that in just a second. But just for starters, boop, just getting this turned into sand. So we can get that smelted up and get some di or not diamond, some glass rocking. So, all right. So we've got sand there. Throw you in the old smelter. Um, sand, go. Okay. We'll probably need more glass later, so I'll just go ahead and let all of that cook. And we'll go ahead and put you up here and make some more bread slices, just to kind of maintain our fuel sources. You know. Um, you know what? I'll eat my grub here. That's actually going to give me some saturation, which is what I want. But I'm so glad I don't, 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 don't have to use that thing anymore. At least not for the clay. I'm sure there's going to be other needs uses for it. And then we back to being frustrated about it. But for the time being, I think we're good to go. So, um, once I get my fifth one, let me take that out. Oh, shoot. Hate when I do that. Sorry, it's quick. And then I'll fire these up and we'll get the rest of these done. I love the animation of these trees. I really do. The bonsai trees are so cool. They just grow, grow, grow. I wonder if it shows a speed. Probably can see that in JEI, but they seem to be about the same speed, give or take. And uh, yeah, so I get a decent amount of apples from them. I can always just take these apples and um, hit the right button. You and the juicer. That's what I need. I forget, is it this one? Yeah. It's like W if it's in the top slot and E or S if it's in the bottom slot. I think that's what it is. I don't know if you guys realize what I'm talking about, but I'm talking about shooting it up straight into uh, an inventory or whatever. So, um, wait, I need one more, at least to make the melter. Okay, so let's go get that guy made. You, I need you. So there's that tank. And then this guy, now to be honest with you, and I'm gonna be 100% honest here, I don't exactly know how this system works. I know it's, um, well, it's Tinker's compliment, which makes sense, because I was about to say it's a compliment to the smell tree itself, but I know it's a little bit di uh, different. I think like you can't create alloys. I think that's part of what the thing is. So uh, porcelain melter, porcelain heater. So what is the recipe for that? Um, porcelain heater where are you guys at oh you're down here i can't actually see that part of my screen um the heater so that is going to be a furnace with six more porcelain okay so the porcelain's going i believe i've got enough nether rack around here somewhere um over here i've got another rack somewhere or another rack. there it is so i need eight of these right and i think it's just eight nether rack think that'll do it and then that porcelain and I think we should be good to go There's 10 more cool so <clears throat> this is a furnace right or the nether furnace I wrap it with nether brick to get a regular furnace and then I do some crazy shape like this and I get the heater okay cool so we're we're, 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 we're doing this now the porcelain casting table that is just seven of these guys and I have five. Okay, so I need to make more quartz. Let's go find an area like, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I'll probably eventually want to break through here. This pick sucks, by the way. But we'll probably end up breaking through here. So I'll just use the hammer right now and just kind of mer like that. And yeah, that actually gave me a decent amount. Cool. 
Well, give me some quartz. I don't know how much I'm getting, but give me some. I'm just kind of pounding my way through what was my original, um, uh, what do you want to call it? My original strip mine. You can kind of see the rows. But uh, eventually we'll be probably building back into here. And so, yeah, there we go. Let's leave that over there. I should get a decent amount of quartz. 60. Yeah, that that's a fair amount right there. Okay, cool. So we'll take you out, split you up, and there is 14 more of those. So we should be pretty close to getting this whole achievement done. Um, what was I doing? I Oh, yes, yeah, so I was putting this in here. Do I need more coal in there? I think I do. I guess we'll just do that many. Yep, I was getting low. Okay, cool. So the other thing I need, do I have stone on me? Uh, I don't have regular cobblestone on me. I want to make that stone bucket. I don't know how many materials I'm going to need, but I have a feeling I can just do it in the part builder, right? So if I go to you and make a bucket, how do I make a stone bucket? Do I just make a stone bucket with a stone recipe like this? That would be awesome. Oh, haha, cool. That worked. And now I should have enough of these <clears throat> to make the table like so awesome. And then I think three more for the channel, right? Sweet. Is that objective complete? Or do I need a couple of one of these? Nope, that's oh, wait, hold on. There's more. Um, a bucket cast and make a bucket with iron. Okay. Well, I'm glad that that actually kind of happens because this is going to take us right to where we need to go next. And that is to show you that I did make a whole bunch of heavy sieves, made a whole bunch of compressed cobblestone, and got some materials. And a whole bunch might be a bit eccentric, but finally got some diamonds, got some emeralds, we've got iron, we've got gold. And so, hey, hey, I moved this little torch and now I forget that I can't stand there quite as safely. I need to kind of like move that torch wherever I'm working. Like that's probably the safest way to do it. And then that way I don't get hit by things. <laughs> oh, 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 put it down, put it down. Mm, get away. Ha, punk. Trying to mess with me? Trying to mess with me? You can't handle me. Oh, but you can hit me. Ha. But you can't handle me. I got this. I got this. Get him. Get him. I got to take full swings. I got to remember that mechanic. This 1.12 stuff is messing me up. Come on, this guy's stronger than the previous ones. I've taken some of these out on like one or two shots before. All right. All right, cool. So yeah, so we've got materials in there. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to need, I believe it's two. So I'm going to need 18. I believe that's what I'm going to need. And then we'll put this guy, we'll put him right up here. Because I want it kind of close to the materials that I'm doing this stuff. So I believe now this is where I got it. I can get messed up. The heater goes here. And then I can do that. Then I think I can also add a lava tank to this, I believe. But I can add fuel to heat up as well. Yeah, the heater right there. And then I put the table here. And this right here. I think this is how this thing works. I'm not 100% sure. But let me go grab some coal. And then I'm going to... Oh, you know what? I need iron too for the bucket. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be three ingots worth. So that's uh, 27. Like so. Don't want to. I don't want to waste any materials right now. Because eventually I want to get into the powered stuff. And make the pulverizer and all that fun stuff. But uh, for right now... This should give me three of these. I did test these recipes out earlier. Usually it's four, and I think there's a way to make four, but right now that's what it is. So um, I, I think, I wonder if I could just put those in there. I don't know if that's how that works or not, but let's grab some coal and let's see. Um, I'm going to grab two stacks because they both look like they have locations to put heat in and, or like put coal in. And so I want to kind of do that. So this doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, but it is. Did it burn one? No, it's not burning one. 
Okay, okay, so this applies it to that. Interesting. Okay, so if I put U2 in there, okay, it's slow, but it's working. And then I'll put my bucket right here. And when that gold is done, because I don't believe I can put these in. Yeah, see, uh, melt this item. Not enough heat to melt this item, okay. Because it's working on that. So I think there's like, you can't add items in that are like a mix because it doesn't create alloys. So this can hold up to 16 ingots. Okay, so we just gotta wait for that to go, but that's awesome. That is a, a definite step in the right direction. And then, I already, oh, I already had the bucket, so apparently all I have to do is make the cast because I got a bucket. I think I got a lava bucket from something. Oh, no, no, I made it with my engineer's hammer. That's right. I'm trying to remember where some of the stuff comes from it gets a little confusing after a while, especially bouncing back and forth between the two packs. So that pretty much wraps up this section for the most part. Eventually I'll get to the extra lives thing and the portal will come back to that eventually. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there soon enough. So let's grab our loot chest here. And you know what? I've got diamonds. Let's go make that diamond hammer real quick. I just want to start knocking some quests out before we get going to the next part of what I want to do today. And I've got a crafting table right there, but I have no sticks because I moved them all upstairs. Yeah, I need to move the stuff out of here and into a better location um, just because, well, <laughs> because it'd be better. Um, running back and forth between here and there is just, that's why I kind of want to start building that little room. Is this not how we make a diamond hammer? Um, how do we make the diamond hammer? Oh, that's different. Uh, diamond ingot. That's a diamond, an iron, and a molten core. That shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, or stoked crucible with nuggets. No. Nope. So let me see how many molten cores I've got. I've killed quite a few things to get things. Like that. Okay, there's two there. Um, do I have another one somewhere? Oh, I only need two. Okay, perfect. What am I thinking here? Okay, so two diamonds two molten cores and I guess I do need iron ingots so let's go just smelt this up over here like so and I'll put the porcelain away because we don't need that at the moment and while those are cooking up let's pop these chests some med kits okay oh and some useful food I'm always okay when I get useful food I'm all about that stuff um med kits I don't think I really have a need for at the moment I'm gonna go put I'm trying I'm trying to organize so you can see it's mostly building blocks over here so I'm trying to kind of do that over here um, and I had been putting quartz in here so I'll just remember that uh, let's see I've already got some of those in there food I'll just kind of hold on to because I think it just makes sense to keep it on me as I slowly use it all iron ingots got them so two iron ingots right there oh what in the world just happened? Did the ingots do that to me? Diamond ingots. Did the ingots just explode? I don't seem to have taken any heart damage per se. That was interesting. Not exactly what I was expecting, but there we go. Diamond hammer. Cool. So that's complete. Now the diamond hammer is complete. Done. Oh, yeah. Loot chest. Claim. Done. And then let me go pick up my compressed. I have one. Oh, it's a crafting task. Okay. So I could have been using that guy all along. I didn't realize that was going to be a crafting task. All right. And heavy plated shield. Okay. That could be useful sometime. We'll just put it in this junk drawer over here because pretty much everything I have now is a junk drawer. I need to find some kind of organization. I'll probably, I, no, I probably won't. I was going to say I'll probably do that between this episode and next, but no, I probably won't. I probably will continue to be unorganized. Um, so let's go ahead and make this. And that should have been both ingots, right? Yes. And how much coal did it? Just one? Just one little coal. Cool. Cool. And now we got that. And now that mission is complete. And so, yeah, so we've pretty much finished up survival except for those two which i mean we'll come back to eventually but i'm not worried about the extra lives right now and the uh, uh portal home I, there's a lot of stuff that goes into this i think 
Um, and actually, I don't even have a lot of ender pearls yet, so so we'll see how that goes. But right now, um, wireless RF. Okay, I'll keep the RF transmitter. But a mask? Do I really need a mask? I mean, do I really? Let, let's okay. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's see what it does. I have a mask. Like, cool. You know, what? I'll leave it on. Whatever. Whatever. We'll leave it on. And um, can I put you in the pattern chest? I can't put you in the pattern chest. I wonder if it has. I don't know. I. Psh, Heck, for, for right now, I can just, well, I can make a chest, right? Or do I have an extra chest sitting around here somewhere? Maybe there's a chest I can make that I need to make. Ah, I have an extra one. So we'll just kind of put a chest down over here for whatever patterns we end up doing to the smelter over here. Um, so we'll put you right there. There we go. For casting purposes. And you can't get to me, but I can get to you. So, get, oh, hey, look at that. Another molten core. Didn't really need an extra one, but cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. So yes, we are we're doing good things. We are moving forward. I am very happy with progress thus far. And you guys know the deal. If there's anything you see that I should be doing different or that could make things easier, please let me know. Please, please, please let me know. Um, a stone barrel. Can we make those up real quick? I think I have some cook stone around here. If not, I can always cook some up real quick. Let's see if the recipe is crazy. Oh, wait. No, no. We looked at this one, didn't we? We looked at this one last time, and it was a weird... Yeah, it's this stuff. Sandstone and redstone, <clears throat> which I still don't have any redstone. I've got three. But let's, let's go see if we can find some redstone. There was probably some in the mine that I just never really paid attention to. And so it could be useful. I think I was, yeah, there we go. Oh man, I need a better pick. I need to get my mining level up like much, much higher. Let's look around. There's diamond, there's ardite, there's more ardite. No redstone, no redstone. There's gotta be redstone around here somewhere. I have three. It's like I'm getting one per block. That's kind of crazy. Um, any visible redstone anywhere? Nope. Six will give me three recipes. How many? That'll give me three, six. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Now I just need to go make up some sandstone, which I can do. Because I have sand. I think I just put it in that other chest really quick. So let's go do that. Mr. Enderman, don't leave these blocks around here. Good grief. All right, so I'm going to need nine sandstone. I can do this. And let me eat a buggy up real quick. Get my... I do a lot of running around. That is one thing that I really probably shouldn't be doing so much of is running around. Um, oh, what are you going up there for? Because it burns my hunger up like no other. And... I don't have a lot so sand there's six and seven eight nine there we go and let me grab my hammer along with these three redstone like so let's use a stone one first one two three gravel good one two three gravel good okay cool and I can put that stone away um, except <laughs> Except for the fact that I need three more because I need equal recipes to make the sandstone. So this is where my brain ceases to function efficiently. But you know what? I'm okay. We're, we're heading in the right direction. Sandstone. There we go. And then if I craft up you like this. There's three. Oh, I need more. Oh. I am so bad at this. Okay. And actually, you know what? I'm going to need more because one of these is going to be three. And so three recipes is going to give me one of these barrels. But I believe the quest is for two barrels. It is. So I'm going to need more redstone. So you know what I might do? I might just go find some more redstone and get this uh, mission accomplished real quick. And uh, 
come back once I get it done now that I'm actually remembering to grab enough materials for everything and then we'll yeah then we'll come back and do that so we will be right back where was my wand at okay guys so I just got attacked by a black cloud of smoke that was throwing potions at me and is just sitting there staring at me right now I have never seen this thing before and it kind of scared me Oh, it's a juggernaut. I just didn't see the rest of him. Oh, okay. Well, he can throw potions at me. So even though I can keep him at bay because of this thing. Um, give my sword back. He's like, not really there. How do you fight something that's not really there? What is, is this? Okay, I don't even know how to fight this thing. I am think I'm going to go ahead and let him despawn and I can get back to what I was doing, trying to go get some redstone. That's not even cool. That's I'm like so trapped in here right now. Um, do I have a... Oh, I don't have any arrows. I was like, do I have a bow? I can throw something at him? Um, can I craft together some stone shrukens real quick? Can I... Oh, can I make those actually? Um, stencil? Um, I don't think it's arrowheads. What's the recipe for that? Or can I? Nope, I've got to be able to cast it. Darn it. I mean, I can cast up some arrows, but I don't have fletchings. Oh, this just sinks. Yeah, I'm, I'm like trapped in here with this guy over here. Oh, man, what a pain. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll be back once uh, this guy despawns and I can start working again. So we'll be right back. All right, as I burn myself, as I'm logging back on to tell you that I did finally get enough redstone. It's it wasn't easy finding it. How many mushrooms? You know, I haven't checked on my mushrooms in a while. Got a couple going. Let's let's pick some of these up and put them back in the middle of the room, like so, just so we can keep growing mushrooms. I don't really know if there's going to be a big need for mushrooms, but I mean, why not grow them if I can? right all right and we'll put you back in here like that nope you don't have any room there we go okay cool and now i need to go grab all the cobble so i need to make one two three four five six pieces which means i need 24 stone hopefully i'm doing my math correctly this time and I've got my builder's wand out, so we're good there. Okay, two, 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 do, do. And build you like that, and like that, and like that. Right? Cool, and got your gravel, cool. <sighs> if I could just place stuff accurately, that would be awesome. All right, sandstone, you go like that. You like that, you like that, there we go. Six of you now. And there's our second barrel. Cool. There we go. Not a difficult, you know, mission, but a little bit of an annoying one. Um, fermenting barrels. Two more stone barrels. No, I'll just stick with the loot chests. Hopefully we'll get something cool like pistons, dispensers, and droppers. Not bad. Not bad. Not nearly as trolly as some of the other things. Um, do I have enough room? Nope. I guess we'll just put you over here with these guys for right now. Not a problem. I really, really need to get this stuff situated, but for the time being, that's how it's just going to be. Okay. So, um, the lava crucible. Um, get some lava. I mean, you don't want to always travel to the lake, do you? Yeah, I don't even think I've traveled to go get lava yet. Let's look up the, me the, the recipe for a crucible. Actually, never mind. Hold on. Hold on. This is what we're trying to do. Coal coke. That's what we needed. That's right. Toys and bricks. I remember. I had a purpose for all this clay and stuff like that. Coal coke. Uh, coke oven. Uh, coke brick. That's the one right there. And this is the one that takes a ton of clay. So sandstone. So I'm going to need nine recipes of this, which means I'm going to need 72 clay and nine sandstone bricks, which means I'm going. Okay. Okay. So let's get started on the clay um, by taking leaves over here. 
like so. We'll get the water going, get the clay started, and then when we... I wonder if I can make compressed clay? That would be kind of funny. What, don't you think that'd be funny? I think that'd be funny. I'm going to get all the clay going because I need 72 clay, and each batch here is going to be 24, which means I need three batches of this. So I'm going to make three batches of this and make up the stone, and then once I'm done with the sandstone, we'll come back together, and then we can start getting our coke oven done which will be awesome so yeah we will be right back 36 okay yeah we'll be back all right guys i just got my last bit of clay we should have enough to do what we're supposed to be doing here so i need to oh first i got to break these down into clay balls there we go and one two three four there we go 36 36 right yep and then i need basically just one more here so we can start that guy up and there we go and then we'll get those bricks done pretty pretty quickly it's not too slow it, it's it's pretty efficient and I'm gonna need my Tinker's hammer as well as let me go ahead and recompact all this just easier to have it all compact and taking up less room but of course, I don't really compact very smartly. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this than when I do the way I do it, but that's how I do it. Just like that, all disorganized, because that's the way I roll. No need for organization around here. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need the barrels. Um, you go in there. Yeah, I really do need to figure out a way to organize this stuff. There's just stuff everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, oh yes, my my hammer. I believe it's in this one. It may be in my tool chest. There it is, cool. And then we'll be able to make the Coke oven, which will unlock some stuff, um, like kinetic energy. And I'm hoping this is where we can start powering things like the, the mill, uh, the millstone. And we won't have to use that little hand crank anymore because I'm sure there's gonna be other stuff I'm gonna need the millstone for. As a matter of fact, while we're waiting, let me look that up in preparation, right? So you are you. Ah, I hate when I do that. You are used to make things like string and die, uh, ground nether rack, okay, blaze, right on that side, sugar. So it's basically a pulverizer for the most part. But this is the stuff I'm wanting to get into the leather because I need to make that table saw, right? Yes, I need to make that table saw. And to get the saw, I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, so that is a great reason to hurry up and get this done. Absolutely exceptional reason. And we're just waiting on this clay, which shouldn't be too long. Let's make up some of the coke brick real quick, just to make sure I got the recipe right. So it's you. I believe you guys were in the middles and these surrounded. Nope. Okay. Like that? Yeah, okay, cool. And as soon as I get the last 17 of these, we'll have this done and we'll be doing good things. Right? Right? Okay. So there's, what, 12 of those? Okay, cool. i am kind of gotten used to on the other, um, on the other series of the Modern Skyblock, having the buttons that automatically, like, you know, evens out your recipe and stuff like that and that's been quite nice having that so be nice when you having it um let us let's go see where we want to put this coke oven because this will be nice when, when we start uh wanting to get into some of the immersive engineering stuff and i'm thinking i'm being shot at where am i being shot at from i hear something i hear you where are you at oh you're right there Okay, come on, buddy. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. But I can hit you. Ha, ha, ha. Get closer, buddy. Get closer. Not too close, though. There we go. Oh, my gosh. These guys, like, freak out because it's Torch 2. It's... You'd think they would just, like... Like, it would be walking into a wall, right? Not, like, going spaz out. This is, like, irregular behavior. You shouldn't be, you know, behaving like that. Oh, another one. Oh, and a little fire guy. Let me get the fire guy. Let me get somebody. 
like I earlier, <clears throat> uh, right before that crazy um, juggernaut, the sparkly disappearing juggernaut was attacking me, there was at one point, I think five blazes popped up over here. Just like out of nowhere. I really want to get my magic levels up so I can put down that mega torch and not be bothered by any of this stuff anymore. But for right now, it is what it is. Okay, um, let us, I'm going to put the Coke oven in the ground. So let us dig out a nice little hole right here. And then we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to put you down in the ground. Oh my God, that's going to take forever to break that brick. Let us do vein mine just to get all of it out of the way. And now my pick broke, of course. Hi, yeah, yeah. Oh, and another blaze. Screw off, Mr. Blaze. Let us go grab a little bit of cobble. Make up another really cheap pick. Because why would I have a good one, right? No need for a good one. Not when I can have a cheap one. All right, cool. And now I'll have all my Coke brick. Perfect. 27 of those. That should be achievement complete. Was there something else I needed? Oh, there's... Oh, and then one coal coke. Okay, cool. So let us just grab one right now. So that'll do its thing. And what was I coming in here for? Oh, yes, to make another pick. There we go. Pick done. Cobble pick. There we go. Coke oven. Here we go. Except there's going to be someone out here trying to shoot at me. Where were you at? I saw you. I saw you somewhere. Where were you? There was someone shooting at me, right? When, there was someone shooting at me while I was in this hole, right? I see him on the map. He's right this direction. There he is. Don't hit the pigman. Ah, shoot. I did not want to hit the pigman, but... Then again, I was dumb enough to try, so... Uh, and here they all come. It's the March of the Pigmen. Well, at least I can get some pigment meat. You guys can't come here. Neener, neener, neener. Yeah, bring all your buddies. We'll just do it all at once. Oh, there you guys are. Hi, guys. Do you have any other brothers around that are going to come and try to attack me? Well, I can use the leather, so that's actually useful. I might have to actually start attacking pigment more often. This guy had a lot of health. All right, let's get all... Oh, 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 hey, how'd you get in there? Oh, is this the dude that's been, like, walking around my base and he was just chilling in that room over there? Okay. There we go. Any more pigmen around that are going to attack me if I come back down here? Because I still got to go get that blaze. So I can safely... Well, I, I can safely put this uh, oven in now. Um, just get all these blocks out. Hopefully I don't get hit by a blaze while I'm doing this. That would annoy me greatly. Okay, so... What? God, these shoes. Just constant bouncy bouncy. Okay, thank you. Wow, I just can't place blocks right now. I should just use my wand. There we go. All right, now, can I actually, I've never tried this before. Can you shift right click on the top? Or does it have to be the face? I think it has to be the face. Well, I just kind of tested that out. So, there we go. And I was going to use the other block, but let's keep it consistent with nether brick for right now. And bink, bink. And then there we go. And then put the coal in <clears throat> and make some coal coke up. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are doing things. We are doing good, good things today. All right, so sugarcane in there. Blocks over here. Just put that junk in there. Um, and then we'll see what unlocks. I'm kind of excited to see what unlocks once we get that coal coke because, well, it's just another step in the adventure. So um, I guess, I don't know. Do I have any free space? Leather. I've put stuff like kind of randomly everywhere. So I figured this stuff's going to start stacking eventually. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. So once that cold coke is done, I don't know how long it's going to take. I, I remember it used to take a really long time. Um, it's almost half done. That's not bad. 
So let's see what we can kind of get prepped and ready for next episode. So that, okay, so kinetic energy. We're doing things, right? Stuff and things. I do want to take a look at some of the stuff, like um, the mechanical things. I don't know. Um, let's look up a mechanical miner. What mod is that from? I think that's from actually additions. The mechanical miner. Oh, that's extra utilities. Okay. Which means then we would have to make... Uh, like a power generator or whatever. Um, then the mechanical user, that could be useful. That's just stone. Resident crystals is an ender shard, which is a pit and a glass cutter. This is all doable. This is stuff that we can definitely take a look at. Um, and then I can start getting started. Oh, there's a resonator right there. Um, extra additions. I wonder if this is actually additions and extra utilities. Uh, the wooden spikes. We might be able to do the wooden spikes while we're waiting on the coal coke, which should be done. It is. Cool. Let us see if that unlocked anything else. Aha! Stuff unlocked. <clears throat> okay, so let's claim that loot chest. That's what I was hoping for. Uh, using all the way... Hey, how did you hit me? I thought that torch should have kept you far enough away. All right, cool. So... <clears throat> let's check this out again and kind of get a plan for next episode um low voltage that's easy steel that's gonna be the next step but we have to get the um the blast furnace going using all the wind okay i can't open it yet kinetic dynamo let's look that recipe up real quick. you know no 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 it's that time it's definitely that time um but today productive right so we've got a coke oven now so we can start our cold coke and start getting going into steel and some more advanced stuff um, the fact that I thought about these and I know, I just have a feeling you guys were like screaming at me that I can make these and get the clay so much easier. And I'm so glad that I thought about it. He's like a beelining for me. Hey, how are you still, how are you still aggroed? How is that even possible? But, uh, yeah, so we got the clay. We got a lot done. I can start, um, making maybe some metal parts. Ooh, what did I get? A uh, fishing rod, uh, making some metal parts and try to get going on. Ooh, another mega torch. Too bad I can't put the stupid thing out. What levels did I need? Like crazy levels. Uh, six magic, thirteen building. Hold on, how close am I on that? Magic, no, but building. Well, let's start kicking up magic. I've got some levels up here. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up right now. I know I get sidetracked and I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done and thinking and you know what? No need to think like that. Um, so we can get the magic pumped up a little bit. Cool. And we'll go get some more levels in the meantime. But for right now, I guess I can go stack the torches. Yeah, they do stack. Cool. And uh, start getting prepped and ready because now we're going to start making some power. And that will be just extremely helpful when it comes time uh, for getting into the better with mod stuff. Because like I said, I am not using that clickety clacker any ever again. And uh, maybe looking into making some tools. Yes. But I need a tool forge. So so that could be maybe uh, next episode is looking into um, or trying to get into. Oh, I'm so close. 14 mining. Was my mining? 11. Yeah, I'm so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll look into getting going on uh, uh, Tinker's Construct next episode. Oh, that is just a bad looking zombie pigman. This dude is Blythe, I think it's called. Hey, where are you going, man? I was going to hit you so you could. Uh, zombie pigman, but it's like Blythe or something like that. He's got 25 hearts and armor. Uh, run. Okay. Oh, you're right there. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to finish killing these guys and I'm going to start getting ready for Tinker's Construct. So we can start getting some good tools and really just start doing some efficient stuff um, in like the next episode. So yes, hopefully maybe getting into a little thermal expansion. I don't know how far away that is. I mean, psh, we're only in like, oh, hey, 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 chill. Um, I think it's episode three or four. So yeah, so we're going to keep beating up zombie pigmen right now. Hey, how are you beating the torch? What? How are you beating the torch? He was like walking right towards me. There's obviously an issue with the the sieves or something like that causing him to slide forward. That was so unfair. So very unfair. Uh, don't worry, I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you. I need to 
go pick up this real quick. I, we're finishing this guy off. I want you guys to see me get my retaliation. Ah, right here. Okay. Bring it on, bastards. Yeah, now you're like cap at bay. So anyways, yeah, Tinker's Construct. Uh, I'm just rambling now and uh, trying to get going in the power, probably getting that kinetic dynamo made. Um, and then we can start getting some more cool stuff because I want to get into the better with mods, but I, I don't want to do it until we have power. So I'm thinking maybe, um, I know there's, I think there's a windmill for better with mods, but I think you could also use like the windmill for immersive engineering. So that'd be something to look into. But you guys, it's it's definitely past time now. And y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc. And I'm out of here. And that black, oh, I got diamond armor. I probably can't wear it, but I got diamond armor. All right. So anyways, I'm out of here. Peace.